What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Monday workout here, upper body, getting at it. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I uh, got out to see that new Thor movie on Friday night. Uh, I don't know why it got such bad reviews. Apparently, uh, the critics tore it apart, but I thought it was pretty good. It was concise and to the point. Uh, looks like there's going to be some crazy stuff coming down the road. Uh, in the kind of the, the Thor aspect of the Marvel Universe. So that was kind of cool. Uh, today, upper body day, got into it. Uh, still working on, on uh, postural correctiveness here. The face pulls. I ordered another uh, tricep rope. So I'm going to be able to get a wider grip on here and probably get a little bit better form. It's too narrow for me to flare my elbows and really retract properly. So with two... Uh, cables, I should be able to get my hands a little further away from my head and really emphasize more of the, the rear delt scapular retraction uh, because right now <laughs> the uh, the cable thing hits me square in the face, so I, I can't pull it far enough back, but when I have the other tricep rope, I should be able to do that. Uh, all weekend, did yard work up in the high desert uh, landers california for those of you who know where that is a little bit right outside of uh, joshua tree national park i have a house up there uh, and we were just trying to uh trying to clean up the two and a half acres that it's on it's a giant mess i bought the house last summer and we're finally getting around to clearing up the yard and uh just starting to maintain it i mean that desert is obviously ancient and those trees have probably never been uh trimmed or groomed or in, in the the dirt out there is just just full of uh full of things that have blown through the yard over over the centuries so uh yeah i was out in the sun lifting things moving things so it was a good active weekend uh kept the kept the protein high a uh, couple beers and a bunch of shredded chicken tacos uh, for those of you who don't know, you can easily make shredded chicken in one of those uh, Instapot pressure cookers. Uh, just throw a bunch of chicken in there, set it for 10 minutes. When the chicken comes out, just mash it up with a with a, a spatula or whatnot. It makes awesome shredded chicken. So uh, made some shredded chicken tacos for Saturday night. Calories still looking good. 2,200 a day, staying steady not not starving not not hungry during the day uh 225 230 grams of pro every day again staying steady uh so yeah things have been things have been real consistent uh weighed in this morning uh same day of this workout weighed in this morning at uh 187 still seem to be stuck at a 187 plateau uh, might be where my body's hanging out for a while. I'm not entirely sure, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I mixed up some things today. So the last couple of weeks I've been doing, uh, bench press first fly second this week. I wanted to try out flies first bench press second. That is my preferred, uh, order of operations here. I always like to do the flies first, uh, get some blood into the pecs before I hit the bench. But for whatever reason, I've been doing bench press first, then flies. I think it makes a big difference. I think, uh, at least for me, I, I like to emphasize more of my effort, more of my time, really pushing uh, the weight on the flies, um, waking up the pec, building that mind-muscle connection early in the workout before, before the bench press. And then the bench press, I kind of alluded to. I kind of alluded to it last week in the video that I was going to be emphasizing more of a, a uh, time under tension than a weight on the than weights on the bench press, and I was going to be using the dumbbells. My shoulders still feeling clunky and achy on the uh, barbell bench press, so I'm sticking to the dumbbell bench for now, and I'm emphasizing a, a two second pause at the bottom, um, as well as an exaggerated contraction at the top. So I think. Trying to take a look here. I think I started with 30 pounds. I might have gotten up to 40 pounds, which is extremely light. But I was feeling a really good contraction, really good pump, and a really great stretch at the bottom of this exercise. Uh, and no shoulder pain, which is which is the goal. 
So if you're, if you're getting the stimulus you need and you're not experiencing any type of, any type of pain, uh, but again, still getting that stimulus, still feeling the benefit, still feeling the muscle working, uh, at this stage of my life, that is the goal. And that's where I'm at. So we'll, we'll work up. Uh, I'm sure I probably could have done today's sets with the 50. But uh, I think I got up to 40. Maybe we'll see here in the next set. I think I got up to 40. But the... Uh, oh, nope, didn't show it. But the two-second pause, uh, both at the top and the bottom, can really make a lightweight seem, seem heavier. So if you guys ever run out of weight or you're ever in a situation where a certain weight is taken... Play around with timing. Play around with uh, with tempo, and uh, you can, you can quickly find out that if you're not just blasting through the sets, and you take a little more time at the top and the bottom, uh, lighter weights become heavier very quick. So, mess around with that. And again, your your, your muscle responds uh, to time under tension. So the longer your muscle is exposed to the stimulus, uh, the better chance it'll it'll make the appropriate changes and actually. Put some extra, put some extra muscle where you're looking for it. Still playing around with these. These are funky. I don't think I'm doing them right, but I mean I must be because I'm I'm feeling the contraction of the rear delt. I'm feeling the pump develop as I go along the workout. So I superset these today with the seated dumbbell press. I don't even know what we're calling these. I guess rear delt rows. I can call them for the sake of uh, a name. Uh, yeah, rear delt dumbbell row. Um, and I didn't really take much rest break between these movements. I was just changing the weight out. I was using 40 for the press and 10 for the rear delt dumbbell row here. Uh, yeah, shoulders feel good. Um, right one still a little achy, but no, no clicks, no clacks during these presses. And that is the goal. I miss lateral raises so much, but neither of my shoulders can tolerate it at all for whatever reason. I don't know what damage I've done to them, um, but neither one of my shoulders can do lateral raises. It used to be kind of my bread and butter go-to thing uh, for for great delt size and definition, but it is not in my wheelhouse and it is not going to be in my wheelhouse as far as I can tell anytime soon so r.i.p lateral raises i miss you i look forward to to maybe someday 20 30 years from now maybe i'll be able to do you again but for now it's uh pressing and uh, i guess rear delt rose for me uh tricep tricep rope took out the rope today put away the straight bar kept the rope out uh, actually i only kept the rope out for one set i saw something on youtube the other day uh, a guy was using a uh, what do you call that? You know the 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 Y bar for the the uh, oh man, what do you call that? The bar you use for like a narrow seated row, uh, and he strapped it to the to the cable press down, uh, and he was using it for a, a kind of a tricep exercise. You'll see it here in a second. But I only have the the cable handles, but I still kind of made it into that. T-bar, T-bar row, uh, a T-bar row, whatever, you, you'll see here in a second, I, I use the cable handles, and it's an interesting tricep exercise, it, it hits a, it hits a, a different part of the head, uh, so if you're at a commercial gym, and you have access to the thing that I'm poorly describing, give it a shot, if you can see where my hands are, you can probably, uh, probably uh, uh, figure out what I'm talking about. It's the it's the shiny silver metal row apparatus, the narrow grip row attachment. But I didn't have it. So I used the, uh, the cable handles. But it's almost like a... It's almost like a close grip bench press, almost. Or like a diamond push-up, maybe, kind of. Um, but weighted and cabled. And it was cool. So uh, again, I'm I'm still just experimenting. I'm playing around back here in the backyard, uh, alternating dumbbell curls. Got into the triceps, like I said. Uh, yeah, it was extremely hot out and disgusting today. 50, 50, 55 percent humidity at whatever time it was in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, is disgusting in Palm Springs. That that's gross. It's it's unheard of. Uh, 
I mean, it is the end of July and August. These are our, our hottest, most disgusting months. Um, it's actually been kind of a cold summer for us. It hasn't even gotten up to the 120s yet. It's still sitting around 112, 110, which, believe it or not, is chilly. But it's been humid and gross these last couple of weeks. So, yeah, it, it, it is what it is, you know. Southern California, Southern California desert, it's a different animal. It's a crazy, crazy place. Uh, finished up with some very violent, unnecessary uh, GHD sit-ups, but I, I like doing these. I like feeling the soreness uh, for a couple of days after I do these. I, I've given up on just the regular GHD sit-up. This, this bench is too tall. I, I can't. Something's wrong with it. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. But, yeah, I'll be back at it again tomorrow. See you guys later.